Okay, so in this uh, lecture, we are going to discuss about two mathematicians. One is uh, Aristotle. Aristotle was a Greek mathematician who wrote uh, some articles on logic, philosophy, psychology, physics. And uh, the, the nice thing is that his writings were preserved and they were hidden in a vault. Okay, and uh, those writings were found after 200 years by one of his students. The next mathematician is uh, George Boole. So George Boole was an English mathematician and he was a person who published an article on analysis of logic and he introduced a new algebra to the era which is called as Boolean algebra. So we will now start talking a little bit about Boolean algebra. So the first definition is a definition of a bit. So bit is something, uh, it's actually a symbol. And that symbol has uh, two possible values. The two possible values of bit are 0 and 1, where actually 1 represents true and 0 is representing false. Now, what is a Boolean variable? Let's discuss what is a Boolean variable. So Boolean variable is a variable which is uh, which is either true or false. Okay, so in computer science uh, field, so the proposition is actually a bit variable, okay, Boolean variable. So what we have studied right up to now that a proposition is true and false. So people of computer science field call that thing as a Boolean variable, which has values zero and one, where for them zero is false and one is true. The fields, uh, the words are the, the, only the words are different, but they are used by different, different people. So what are bit operations? No, bit operations are those operations which actually corresponded to the logical connectives. Okay. Now I have taught you in the previous lectures about conjunction, disjunction, exclusive or conditional. Okay. All such things are also discussed in terms of Boolean variables zero and one. Okay. So there we will have a same idea. The same idea will be carried out over there. So let us see what is meant by a bit string now, all of you know what is a bit string bit string is nothing but a sequence of bits a sequence of zeros and one okay you must have heard all these things like you sometimes uh, you convert a number into a binary sequence right binary digits right so if you go if you make a length a little bit long so that thing will be called as a bit string for just even simple example if i write zero one 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 zero so this is a bit string and uh, which is a sequence of bits and that sequence of bits is of is made up of what is made up of zeros and ones for example look at this string this is zero one zero zero one one this is a bit string of uh, length six okay now what are bit operations now we we have bit strings with us there are many bit strings with us and what we want to do is we want to now do operations between these bit strings. It's the same like numbers. When you have numbers, you either add, you multiply, you subtract. So sim similarly, we will do bit operations. So we have studied in propositions something called as conjunction. Okay. So in bit, in the terms of bit uh, operations, that conjunction will be called as the AND operator. Okay. So the conjunction that we have studied, this, this was a symbol for conjunction. And now that bit operator in, in bit operators, we will call it as in, we will call this as an AND operator. Disjunction is uh, denoted by this particular symbol, you know, disjunction looks like a V and that is nothing but your OR operator. And exclusive OR is, is actually denoted by a plus sign. 
and uh, that is nothing but your XOR operator. So in the electronics students must have done something related to this in their first year classes. Okay, we will uh, discuss this problem and it's very easy to solve. Find bitwise or bitwise and and bitwise XOR of the pair of bit strings 10101 and 01101. So the first string is, uh, I will write the string which is 10101. The string 2 is 01101. And in the terms of truth value, we know that 1 stands for T and 0 stands for F. So it will be TF, TF, T. This is the first string, okay, corresponding to the first string. And uh, truth value for the second string will be F, T, T, F, T. Okay, now we have OR. So let me call this proposition P. Let me call this proposition Q. So you have P or Q. So what is T or F? We know that only F and F is F. Otherwise it is always true, right? So true and false is true. Then false and true is also true. True and true is true. False and false will be false. And true and true is again true. And then I will again convert this values of true and false into the language of zero ones. So I know that truth stands for one, 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 false is zero, and this is one. So the answer for bitwise or is ready with us. So this is the answer for bitwise or. Okay, similarly, if you want to do bitwise and, instead of taking or, we will take, we will take P and Q, and then we will convert and find the string output. And similarly, bitwise XOR also can be done. Let us uh, solve this problem. What is the value of variable X? After the statement, the statement is X equal to zero. And if two plus two is four, then X is defined as x plus one this two dots and equal to this is the uh, this is nothing but this is called as defined as okay so how will how am i going to solve this now i will take x equal to zero so i'm writing the solution now so the input is x equal to zero so now the data stored in my computer is that value of x is equal to zero now i will go to the if statement so if 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 then i will define the new value of x is given by the old value of x plus 1 now we will check this is 2 plus 2 equal to 4 true so the answer is yes if it is yes then proceed and what will I do proceed means the new value of x will be equal to the old value this is let me say new x is old x plus one. What what is the value of x stored in my computer? The value of x stored in my computer is zero, so it will be zero plus one. So the new value of x will be how much? The new new value of x will be one. Okay. So the output of this particular two statements. These are two statements. the output is x equal to 1 okay let us define one more question what is the value of variable x after the statement 
x equal to 1 if 1 plus 1 is equal to 3 or 2 plus 2 is equal to 3 then x is equal to x is defined as x plus 2 so let us see how to solve this question so the value stored in my computer is how much x equal to 1 okay now i will go to the first part if 1 plus 1 equal to 3 or 2 plus sorry or 2 plus 2 is equal to 3 now what i know is 1 plus 1 equal to 3 is actually a false statement correct so this is false or what is the symbol for logical symbol for or the logical symbol for all or is disjunction and we know that what is false or false false or false is false so it is equivalent to false right so this means that this part this entire part okay this entire part is wrong this is false if this entire part is false then the computer will not process this formula it will not when will this formula be processed this formula will be processed only if this particular part the first if part if that was true only then it will go and process the second part but that is not true so in that case the program will not move ahead right and then what will be the output of x if i ask what is the output of x uh, what is the output output means what is the value of x after the program is executed what is the output i understood that initially the value of x stored in the computer was one i run the if then type of loop i will say and then I understand the if condition is itself not satisfied. So how will the program go ahead? And therefore the, the computer will the will execute the program without going ahead. So if I now ask what is the value of x, the answer of value of x will be it will find out the what is the latest old value. The latest old value was x equal to 1 because the formula x equal to x plus 2 is not executed and therefore what is the value or what is the output in this case the output in this case will be again x equal to 1 suppose this was true suppose this had been true suppose this is true then what will happen then x ka answer the answer of x must have been 1 plus 2 and then the output would have been x equal to 3 but this has not happened right because the program is the statement here itself was what the statement this complete statement here itself was false and therefore you get the output x equal to one okay is it understood by all of you okay let us solve this problem so determine whether the conditional statements are true or false so the first statement is one plus one equal to two then two plus two is equal to 5 so we have to uh, check whether this complete statement is it a true statement or is it a false statement okay so now if you see what is 1 plus 1 actually 1 plus 1 equal to 2 is true correct so if true then 2 plus 2 equal to 5 is false so then f correct we know that if p then q in logic can be written in the form of p implies q correct now what is the table for p implies q we all know the table for p implies q was looking this true 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 false false true and false false out of which the 
output is so this is the table of p implies q okay true false true true now look at this about thing that we have got so if t then f means t implies f what is the output of t implies f the output of t implies f is f so this means that the first statement is false okay let me do one more sum if 1 plus 1 is 3 then 2 plus 2 is 4 so is this complete statement true or false now what is 1 plus 1 equal to 3 1 plus 1 equal to 3 is false if false then 2 plus 2 equal to 4 is true and therefore false implies true the output of false implies true is true so the second statement is true